Hello, good everyone. My name is Tim Diamond Andrew, and I'm a data analyst for UPZ. For today's section, I'm going to show you how to use the when clause for creating conditional statements in SQL, and also how to use the subquery in SQL. So first of all, I need to create a table, which is called a student table. So I'll say create table student. So I'm going to do a grade for students, right? Student grade. And I'll come here. So what I need to do is to put the columns I need, right? So the first column I'll be using, I'll be using the student. So student, which is a var chart, that's the just type, var chart of, let's say 10, right? Comma. The next thing I need, I need department. Department is also a var chart. Let's say department of how many characters, let's make it five in length. Lastly, I want the scores, so the student scores, right, which is an integer. So that's all. What I need to do now is just run this. I'll select all of this, and I'll click on Run. So you show it was successful. So if I come here, I just need to watch Refresh. If I refresh this data, you can see um, student grade. Awesome. So next, I need to input the data. I need to import data inside here. So what I need to do now, come to the student get grade, or right click. I'll go to import and export data. So how do you import and export data wizard? It's very fast. It's faster this way. Why don't you um, write in code to import your data? I already have a CSV file. So you can see the import is checked. I'll go to the directory. I'll click on the directory here. It's called student. So this is the database here. I've entered. I see the format is what is a CSV file. If I go to options, you can see header. I'll check header. My delimiter is my common separator, which is a comma. So you see it's CSV, comma separated values. I'll go to columns. I can see the three columns I have. I have student, department, scores. I can see everything is OK. I click on OK. Voila. Import successful, right? So let's check if it's properly. Import. So I'll come here. Just say select all from. What's the name of the student? Student or grade, right? So let's go student grade. Student grade. And I'll just run this to see if it's worked properly. Voila. So you can see. So I have the three columns, which is students, department, score. So what I need to do, I want to group each of those scores. So I want to group in such a way that I will have the F. So the F will be anything from 44 downwards. I'll have the D. So from this is going to be from 45 to 60 and C, B, and A. So what I would need to do now is to create a condition in SQL. So I'll just come here and say create a condition. So you create a condition. Condition in SQL. Right? So in condition, I'll say select. Right? Department. So these, these are things I want to see. I want to see department. I want to see department. I also want to see scores, right? So department, comma, scores. Sorry. Scores, right? Comma. I will say the case. So I'll say case. Tap, tap. Sorry. I will say when. So this is the question. I will say when scores now. When scores is what less than or equals to 44, then it should be what? It should be an F. So what it means, this means is that from anything from 44 downwards, it's going to be an F. Let me person add an F. That's a fail, right? Sorry. I'll say again, when I'll put another correction, when scores is less or equals to 16. So what should happen? So then, it's what's D. So the idea now is, from 44 downwards is an F. From 60 to 45, it won't, it won't go to 44 because I've already put a condition before it, right? So the first condition here is what? 44. You can see, right? Okay, so, I'll say again, when scores is less than or equals to 70 then it should be what then it should give me c right i'll say when again let's 
cos is less than or equals to 8c, then it should give me what? It should be a b, right? And lastly, I'll say else. That's else condition. Else and a. Else and a. What this basically means that after 80, from 80, from 80 to um, 71 is b, right? So anything above 80 is going to be an it has else if and he. So I cannot say and as else name as great, right? Great. I would not say why am I getting data from getting data from which table? I say from the student grade table. Student grade table. I'll close it. I'll end it. So let me just run this. Let's see. Now click on run. So the spelling of the student grade. Okay, so student student grade. Okay. So student grade. So I'll run it again. Sorry about that. I'll run it again. So this should work this time around. Okay. Voila. Awesome. So I've created the condition. So the next thing I want to get, I want to like group the grades. I want to know okay, how many people add an F. How many people are the B? So different um, conditions, right? So I know that okay, um, this person here had. I shall first put the student name, but don't worry about that. Sure. Maybe next time. So I have okay, the student here had the student had thirty five add an F, six is an F, ninety six is an A, forty seven is a D. You can see so on and so forth. You can see how this works, right? So let me now create. So now to want to get a get a sub. Query. So the concept of subquery, subquery are basically queries inside of another query itself. So I'm getting subquery where I group, where I group the grade by the different numbers. By numbers. So I want to know each. How many people add F? How many people add A's and rest? Right. So what I need to do now is say select. Select grade sound grade, right? And I also want what's in the grade down to get. I want to get the count of grade. So I'll say the count, count of the grade itself, count of the grade itself, right? And so I'll say from from what now? So to be from this one. So I'll also open my bracket and close my bracket. I'll copy all of this here, right? From this paste it inside there I'll say as I'll give it an uh, I'll give it a variable name as let's say score one score one score one and I need to see group so I'll say group because I'm trying to aggregate so I'll say group by so I want to group by column one so that's one I can put grade anyone you prefer you can put group by one or put group by grade but I think post grade makes it very easy to use group I guess I'll close it and I'll run this and hopefully it works run and voila, you can see now, right? So you can see for the B, how many people add B? Only five people add B. For C, only four people add C. For F, one people add F. So I can also do a visual of this now, right? I can come to my okay, let's do something now. Let me say for scores, for um, grade, I'll say as amount grade. As amount grade. Okay, that should be nice. So I'll run it again. So it will be better run okay amount grade right so let's then generate a visual so graph visualization i'll make it a little bit bigger so i want to get a bar chart in the bar chart the x the x label with x as that category will be grade why the values which is the y axis will be amount of grade and i'll click on generate and voila you can see right you can see how dynamic this is right so for the f you can see i have 13 people that add f for the a i have 10 people that add a's um, for B, I had five, I have four here, and I have three. So I hope you guys learned a lot. So we are able to do um, the conditional, the conditional statements using the when case clause. I also able to do sub queries instead of that's a query instead of another query. I hope you guys learned a lot. This video is brought to you by your business. Bye and have fun, guys.